Welcome into DCTF Live Instant Recaps from the UIL Football State Championships at NRG Stadium. I'm Max Thompson of Dave Campbell's Texas Football. That's Mike Craven. Mike, we watched a really boring game for three quarters and then things heated up as Galena Park North Shore takes the 6A Division I State Championship 21-14 over Westlake. Uh, I guess first impressions? I don't know. It was crazy. It, it was, like you said, it was ugly until it was really fun. And uh, a, lot, a lot of times that's how these games go. And if you appreciated defensive football, this was the place to be. Yeah. If you enjoyed special teams execution, this was the place not to be. Um, it was an up and down game. Both teams kind of took turns, making bad plays, making good plays, depending on how you looked at it. And at the end, North Shore just made one more play. And that's the difference between winning a state title and going home with that one. I think we everyone expected this game to be really close down to the wire. Two very similar offenses where you had Micaiah Long for North Shore, quarterback grinding away three yards at a time. And on, this, on the other side, Sam Ellinger for Westlake doing the exact same thing. A few turnovers here, a few special teams, special teams player plays there, and we had our end result. Uh, what stood out to you about Galena Park North Shore's defensive effort and, and what made the difference in the end? They just, they just have a lot of talent. You know, there's four or five legit D1 players on that field right there. Eric Monroe is probably the main bill. Uh, LSU commit. But they got a junior defensive lineman that was dominant in that game. Four-star guy on arrival, so he's going to be somebody you hear about uh, moving forward. So they just have a lot of talent on the field. They were controlling the trenches. They were playing man coverage. They had safety help over the top, and Ellinger just wasn't able to make the big plays he's used to making. You wrote it in your game story. One of the things that, that probably will be forgotten here is the incredible drive that Ellinger put together late in the fourth quarter. Uh, Westlake lines up to kick a field goal with 16 seconds left, but they had no timeouts. Right call, wrong call? I think it's the right call. I think you got to trust your kicker there. I mean, that's a tough one, though. It, whatever doesn't work is going to get questioned. So that's a tough one. He, I think he would rather go for it now, knowing the result. But you got to think you can make a 25-yard field goal. Your offense moved you all the way down there. Ellinger kind of came alive. They let him loose a little bit, let him just throw the ball, and he did a lot better. And, uh, you yeah, know, it's just one of those things. North Shore missed their fair share of field goals, you know, and extra points, too. So uh, both teams made some mistakes. North Shore just made one less. That's, that's really really is all it came down to. Both teams grinding away, but North Shore finding just one more answer in the end. Uh, and we've only got one game left, and it's probably going to be a firecracker. At least we're hoping so after watching that one and getting lulled to sleep for three quarters before something awesome happens. Let's hope we got four more awesome quarters to go. We'll see you guys in a few.